Mario's Eve Heard, welcome back to Super Mario 64 on the Super Mario 3D All-Stars Collection. Today, we are moving to the third area I wanted to explore. This time, it's going to be Jolly Roger Bay, which I believe is this door. We're gonna find out together. If not, I'll come back here at some other point. Uh, but yeah, let's go inside and see. This is the wrong area. This is, I think, next episode. Sorry. I can't quite remember what is where at times, I guess, with this game. Uh, okay, it's probably this one then. Has to be one or the other, right? Well, let's find out. So just as before, it reacts to the star power, opens up, and here we go. So this area is pretty cool because it has this nice little aquarium, this little sign to read. Are you using the cap blocks? You really should, you know. To make them solid so you can break them, you have to press the colored cap switches in the castle's hidden courses. You'll find the hidden courses only after regaining some of the power stars. The cap blocks are a big help. Red for the wing cap, green for the metal cap, and blue for the vanish cap. Gotcha. So you can see these cool little aquariums with fish swimming around. This is a nice little touch. And there's a toad on this side. Yeah. Uh, hey, buddy. The names of the stars are also hints for finding them. They are displayed at the beginning of each course. You can collect the stars in any order. You won't find some stars, enemies, or items unless you select a specific star. After you collect some stars, you can try another course. We're all waiting for your help. I'm doing what I can. <laughs> No pressure, Mario, no pressure. But yeah, let's hop into our next level here, which is Jolly Roger Bay. And this is the first one that has like swimming in it. It's pretty difficult from what I remember. Plunder in the sunken ship. So this one, it's a little weird from what I remember, but we'll just give it our best shot. Attention, read before diving in. If you stay under the water for too long, you'll run out of oxygen. Return to the surface for air, or find an air bubble or coins to breathe while underwater. Press B to swim, hold B to swim s slow and steady, tap B with smooth timing to gain speed. Tilt the L stick forward and press B to dive. Pull the L stick back and press B to return to the surface. Pull the L stick back and press B while on the surface near the edge of the water to jump out. See, it can be a little tricky figuring out the swimming controls first and foremost, but we'll get it. What does this do? Oh, that just gives us coins, cool. I was gonna say, it can't be a star, right? And here is, um, as we just learned, a block for a metal cap. There are special caps in the red, green, and blue blocks. Step on the switches and then, yep, okay. So we already know about that. So yeah, our goal is just to sort of swim around underwater and explore what this bay has in store for us. Very cool. So with this one, we're supposed to find a sunken ship and plunder into it. One good thing to keep in mind with being underwater is, as you can see, Mario loses air or oxygen through power. Um, which means if we poke our head back out, it'll make our health go up, and that'll be a pretty useful technique later on. If we take damage, we can just jump into the water and then hop back out to heal ourselves. And there is a sunken ship down there. Uh-oh. There's something waiting in there for us, too. That's a little scary. Uh, hey, buddy. How are you doing? And there's supposed to be a way to, like, lure him out? I don't know what way that is. I've always had trouble with this, this star. Because I, I don't know how to get him to get out. Maybe I gotta go and give him a little kiss. Ow, no. Oh, I'm about to run out of health now. Oh no, come on, get this coin quick. Get this coin, get this coin. Oh, there we go. Let's swim to the, swim to the surface real quick. <laughs> Maybe if I just catch some fresh air. That might be the best idea. Oh, I love the fish swimming around though. It's so serene. What a wonderful level. And the music here is really nice too. So as you can see, you can just sort of pop out and it will heal you up all the way. But, oh, he did come out, look at him. Wow, all right, he's huge. Let's avoid him and his scary teeth for now and actually plunder into the ship like the star entails. There we go, oh, that's so cool. So here we are in the sunken ship. What do we got going on? A couple of things, it seems. I might want to, oh, you know what, I, okay. First things first, if we swim over here, we can poke our head out and just get ourselves a little bit of extra air. That's gonna be good. Then what I think we're supposed to do is go back down to the bottom. You can see there's these different chests. There's a certain order I think we need to open them. Sorry if I'm spoiling it. <laughs> but I don't know, I just, I know the game pretty well. So you just go up to it. Ow, and that was the wrong one. Okay, it happens. What about this one? Nope, okay. Well, let's try this one then. Oh, okay, you know what, let me go and get some more air. Oh, that's really tough though. They're harsh on you with that, aren't they? Okay, swim Mario, swim. Can you make it in time? I sure hope you can, because if not, that's gonna be a big problem. Oh boy, whoa, what happened there? 
<laughs> Mario, are you stuck? No, you're not. You're fine. You're fine. Okay, let's try again. So I tried all three of those chests, which must mean it must be this one, right? Well, let's go at it again. A lot of trial and error for this part, and that's okay. Oh, and we get the air bubble. Please and thank you. So there's that out of the way. Maybe this one? Oh, okay, okay, there's two. Halfway there. Please? Yeah, awesome! And then finally, here's four. And with that, it looks like something's shaking. What's going on? Oh, the water's lowering. Oh, cool. So I think with that, we can now hop up to hit that one block and get our star. That's the hope, at the least. Oh no, I'm falling, I'm falling. Uh, <laughs> hold on tight, Mario. I don't know what these platforms are supposed to be. I guess like some kind of like underwater growth, <laughs> a mushroom, fungus, seaweed kind of thing. Who knows? But hey, whatever it is, it's helpful for getting up. Oh my, oh no, Mario, I'm sorry. There we go. And, oop. But yeah, what's so fascinating about this whole area with swimming and stuff is that just like how this is the first game where Mario can take fall damage, I'm pretty sure it's also the first game where Mario can drown. The 2D games just didn't have those parameters to worry about as much, and it's just so interesting how that's changed. Just, Mario's got a lot more dynamic, but also in some ways a lot more vulnerable. Anyways, that was the first star. A bit of a challenge, but we'll keep going. Star number two, can the eel come out to play? Well, we've already seen him come out. I guess we gotta go and do that again? All right, so I'll just sort of follow the same strategy. I'll swim down there. I'll, I'll, I'll get all up in his face and then I'll swim up and maybe that'll get him to come out. Well, hold on. There's a ship here now. Oh, is it, Has have we risen the ship? Yeah, that's so cool. Okay, so as you can see over this way, there he is. He's hiding in his new little house. I'm sorry for taking away your house. I didn't mean to. Ah, no! I don't like it! I don't like it! I don't like it, I'm going back up. He's very scary. I mean, I'd be upset too if somebody, you know, I had a nice little boat house and somebody scared me off and then rose it back to the surface, but. Oh, he's out and there's a star on his tail. I just keep taking all this stuff, don't I? I feel really bad, but at the same time, I gotta save the castle, I gotta save the princess, so. And more importantly, we gotta get that cake. Come on, oh, just barely missed it there. Come on, come on. <laughs> he's a quick one. No, he, oh, he's going away. He's, ow, going away. Was that not right? I thought I touched him there, but maybe not. All right, come on, swim back up before I lose any more health. This is certainly a challenge now. So I think he's sort of tucked back in there. Indeed he is. But dodging him is a, ooh, a challenge. Is he gonna swim out now? Oh, he will. Okay, I understand now, I understand how this works. But getting that star, that's a whole different situation. No, Mario! Oh, that's so tough, because I'm trying to just touch the tail. I'm pretty sure that's what you gotta do. Huh. Okay, come on, come on, let's go for it. Oh, so close, yet so far. There it is, we finally got it. You just gotta give it one little touch. One little touch is all it takes. Yeah, this level's a little scary at times. What's cool about this game is that you don't have to do every star. If this one scares you, you can just move on to another one. That's what's really cool about it. Anyways, course three, can the eel come out? The play is completed. We're able to be brave enough to take it on. So now we're moving on to star three, treasure of the ocean cave. Ooh, this sounds fun. So there's some kind of ocean cave we'll have to get to. I think I know where this one is at. We'll try to figure that out. But yeah, lots of swimming around in this one. Oh, that's right, I forgot about that. So if we go down this way, you can see that one of those clams we got down here should have a Koopa shell for us. If we grab it, we can use that to swim a little faster. How useful is that? So this is a nice little tactic to use. So I have seen this, oh, that's it? Okay, I have seen this star down this way. We're not worrying about that one just yet. That's not the cave we're going into. Instead, it's this one right over here. Oh, oh, there's the one up. Let's try to get that. Yeah, we're back at the 10 lives after losing some earlier. 
So I guess that maybe the water resurfaces here. Ooh, would you look at this? What does this say? Keep out, that means you. Ah! Anyone entering this cave without permission will meet certain disaster. Oh, we'll see about that? Oh my gosh, I saw that falling. There's angry Goombas. There's falling pillars. I guess these ones that have like a very small base to them. Be careful about, about those. Uh, just keep running, just keep running. Aha, and here are those chests that we saw on the ship. Ah, hoy matey, I have sunken treasure here, I do. But to pluck the plunder, you must open the treasure chest in the right order. What order is that, you say? I'll never tell, the captain. <laughs> All right, well, I guess it's up to us to find out. So is it this one? Ow, it's not. It's not that one either. But it is this one. All right, and then maybe it's this one. And then that one. And then this one. So it was back, left, right, front. Cool, and that is going to be a super quick, easy star for us. Here we go. So there we go, got that done. Um, that was pretty good. I feel like it's definitely, this is the toughest level we've uh, tackled so far, but we're just gonna keep at it. The more we play, the better we'll get. So let's see what star four has for us. Red coins on the ship afloat. So this one, a bit of a challenge, I'm sure, but let's make sure that we're also grabbing as many coins as possible, because as per usual, I try to get the 100 normal coins while we're getting all of the red coins as well. So I'm sure there's going to be lots to do around here. We should probably explore more of the surface of everything as well, because as you can see over here, I think there's a way to climb up this. Maybe. Whoa, there we go. That was a little awkward. But I think at the top of this, there's a red coin, right? You bet there is. There's our first one. Seven more to go. Oh, hey, buddy. You're exactly who I wanted to see. Hi, I'll prepare the cannon for you. So the cannon will basically just allow us to launch over to what I, I, I know there's a star over there, but is there a red coin as well? Ready for blast off. Come on, hop into the cannon. It doesn't look like it actually, so I'm not gonna worry about that too much, but there is a sign. Climbing is easy. When you jump at trees, poles, or pillars, you'll grab them automatically. Press B to jump off backwards. Uh, to rotate around the object, you tilt the left stick right or left. When you reach the top, tilt the left stick forward to do a handstand. Jump off, for the, off from the handstand for a high style and dismount. Sounds good to me. Uh, and what about over here? Once again, we get some more coins with the 10 of them. And what will this be about? Oh wow, okay, this makes it so we can get across a little bit more easily. I'm still gonna take it slow because that can happen. Oh, you know what? Oh no, 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 Mario! Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. So making it across is still certainly possible. Whoa, it's just a bit more of a challenge. This boat is uh, shaking around. There's some, not turbulence, that's flying. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the word would be. Uh, there we go, we got up here. And this one as well. Almost, there we go, there's coin four. So up to 31 coins already, we haven't even tipped underwater too much. And we can go back in here, but, right? Maybe we can. not I guess we can't, Never mind. Well, that seems to be everything on the ship then. So I'm fine with hopping back under the water, because I know that these clams have some coins sometimes, right? We're about to find out. Aha, they have a red coin for us. There's coin number five. So we've gotten actually really good at getting the red coins so far. Got the majority of them without expecting to do so so quickly. Come on now, oh, gotcha. And gotcha. So what do we got over here? We got the, oh, the Koopa shell. Oh, that hurt me? Gotta be careful then. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that because this one has another red coin for us. There's six in total. But what about over here? Yeah, this is like the last clam. And it has the seventh red coin. They're so close together in this one. I mean, I guess this world isn't super huge, but it's not exactly small either. And there it is, there's the final red coin. Now remember, just because I have that doesn't mean I'm quite done. I want to get more than just that. I want to get all the coins I possibly can. That's what I'm a little concerned. I don't know where... I'm gonna find another 53 coins. So there's where I gotta go for the red coin star. 
that's a little far off. So I'm not gonna worry about it quite yet. Are there any other clams around? I don't think so. So my goal is to keep swimming. Just gotta keep swimming. Yeah, really the only thing is that there's coins over here. So we'll definitely be getting all these and then we'll go up the cave. But I feel like I'm still missing stuff. I don't know if there was enough coins in that cave. So maybe there is like an area I missed that I haven't explored yet. We can take this opportunity to get another one up though. Maybe, it's going pretty quick. Catch up, Mario. Oh, it, it just barely shifted away from me there. Come on now. Don't be tough. Might have to give up on this guy. Oh, no, oh, I can't get him. He was like stuck in the wall. Oh well, 10 lives is plenty good for this game. I'm not too worried. So taking a look around, oh my. Yeah, let's activate all of these pillars to fall. Ah, not on me, but fall. I wonder if I hit them. Will that still give me a coin? Yep, okay, we're good. So I might do that instead. Because I'm pretty sure there's like an enemy. I might be wrong with this. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. I thought that there was an enemy that if you d took him out in a certain way, you'd get more coins for it than if you took him out another way. I can't quite remember. Either way, I do know that there was a blue coin switch. Let's hope that gives us a very generous amount of coins, because if not, I'm not entirely sure where we would go next. Because I feel like I picked up every coin I could find. Oh my. Um, over here, go. Oh, this is a lot of them. But will I be able to get them in time? Oh, that was great, but I'm still missing four coins somewhere. Where could they possibly be? Oh, you see, when I was swimming, they weren't there until I got close enough to them. That's what's really challenging about this game, I feel, is that sometimes you have that issue. Oh, can I actually get this? Yep, there we go. All right, awesome. Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and save. That was cool, that was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, the main issue there was that you can't always see everything in the distance. That's why it's really good to thoroughly explore. Um, so yeah, with all of that done, we're actually good to just go and get ourselves the uh, star for the red coins. So yeah, make sure that you get the coins by that one pillar, because if not, they'll, you, know, you won't be able to get all the 100 coins you need. Okay, so I guess I can press this button again. I'll try to be a bit speedier with this time, and I succeeded, very nice. Okay, well, let's, uh, ow, <laughs> be careful. Excellent. And there we go, awesome. So we did it, we got ourselves another star, and that is going to get us a total, including the 100 coin star, that's gonna be a total of five. Very happy about that. Okay. So what do we got next for star six, right? Or star, actually, yeah, star five. I've got to mix up. <laughs> Blast to the stone pillar. So I think this is just the one that we unlocked the ability, ability to do in the previous star. We now have the cannon over here. I think the premise, the idea of it is very simple, but it might be a little bit difficult to pull off. And I noticed that there's a lot of stars like that in the game, where they'll be very easy to get technically if you were to do it right the first time, but just it, it takes a lot of trial and error to really get it right. Okay, this is surprisingly tough to jump up onto. Oh, the cannon's not over, I'm being so silly. This is where we activate the cannon, but that's not where the cannon is. <laughs> I did all that for nothing. Come on, Mario. The swimming controls are a little tough at times, but that's where I'm so excited that this is the whole collection, right? Between Mario Sunshine and Mario Galaxy, you'll see that the controls get a whole lot better and the games get more dynamic and interesting and expansive and you know they have their own differences and things to love with each one. So stay tuned for that. We're playing one game at a time because I felt like it might have been a little too much to play more than that, but I'm gonna aim right at this cloud. And, ah, not quite high enough. If you get to like, if you land on too broad of a spot of it, it'll be too broad for him to hold on to. So you have to sort of shoot higher up. That's okay, not too long of a swim just to get right back over there. Okie doke. Maybe I should try this one instead. That might be a smarter idea. A bit scarier though, because I'll have to jump from one pole to the next. Getting this just right <laughs> is a little tough as well. I think that'll be good. Right about there. No, oh man, that's a little deceiving. I thought I was gonna get way higher that time. Oh my goodness, that took so many tries. Definitely, if you are playing along, pay attention to how I, um, oh my, how I lined that up. 
because if you line it the same way, hopefully you'll be able to- No! <laughs> you know what, maybe I really should try just the one pull, because that's so tough to do. Because it, you don't get 100% control of the camera, you can only like move at like little different like designated spots, you know, it's- Oh man, that took so much effort, so maybe that's not worth doing. Maybe, maybe we should do it a different way, we should just go and get that one pull. I thought, you know, like, hey, it'd probably be good to jump from one pole to the other. I don't know anymore. So we need to shoot pretty high up for this. That was too high. And that's an ongoing issue I'm having. <laughs> it's either too low or too high. I just can't get it just right. There we go. I'm a little scared still. Now, one trick to keep in mind with Mario on the pole here. If he's on it like this, he's going to jump the opposite direction his face is facing. So he would be jumping towards the screen right now. But if we go like this, he's gonna jump the way his face is facing. So he'd be jumping away from the screen when we do this. I've messed that up many times, so I, I think it's good to clarify for people who don't know, so they don't end up jumping the wrong direction. There we go, that one was tough to get. One of those ones where it's like, it's so close yet so far. But blast to the stone, pillar completed. All right, awesome. So what is next? I think the final star of this area, right? Star number six, yeah. Through the jet stream. Now this is the one that's a little weird. <laughs> Typically you need the metal cap to do this, um, but there is a way to sort of force it if you just swim straight down, but I, that's where I'm not sure if this is gonna work. This might actually be a star that we'll have to save for another episode, unfortunately. We'll have to wait and see. Because, um, what you're supposed to do here is supposed to get the green box through, which is the metal cap. You're supposed to be able to get that later in the game and then come back here. Once again, that might not be the easiest for a walkthrough, but what you can do is there's a way to just get like right in the center and swim down. But what has been confirmed is that this version of Mario 64 is a more updated version. Um, I think it's actually the version, it's a Japanese re-release, I think on the, Nintendo 64 disk drive, which never even came out in the States. And it fixed a couple of things. It fixed a very specific like backwards jump thing that a lot of speedrunners for this game would use. Um, so it might have even fixed this, who knows. Um, but I will try it and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, that's okay. Like I said, we'll come back. Um, I think it's next episode or the episode after I can um, actually go and get the metal cap and get this done. But yeah, just in case you're watching along, that's what you have to do is you have to get the metal cap. But sometimes I know there's a way to like brute force it. <laughs> and sorry if some people consider that cheating. It is what it is, right? Um, but yeah, I just can't quite, can't quite get this one right now. That's all right. I'm gonna try it for like a couple more seconds. If I don't get it, so be it. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it done. It is what it is. Um, like I said, we'll come back there, but now you know what to do. But there's still a little bit more I wanted to do in today's episode, and that is going to be up this way, and then the other side, there are little secrets to find here, of course. Always good to get some secret castle stars. And with this area, which is just called the Secret Aquarium, there should be um, eight red coins to find. So we'll be swimming around. We gotta be careful with how many coins we collect, um, because... There we go. Um, we wanna make sure we sustain those around for when we need them to refill our health. Cause I don't think there's any air in this area whatsoever. We're in an aquarium. <laughs> I guess, you know, most of the residents here don't need it too much, all the fish. But yeah, it's very cool. It's like we've shrunken down into the aquarium. You see those cool windows. There's definitely like a lot of power of imagination with this game. You have to sort of fill in the blanks. But I feel like that's sort of what makes it so special, especially for the time it came out in. This was like top of the line gaming right here, just technology in general, cutting edge. And right over here, here's our final one. Very easy start again, to be honest with you. Once you get down the controls of the swimming, it's really easy to get this one. So happy about that. And as you can see, ta-da, there's a star for us. And I think that's really all we're gonna tackle today in terms of getting new stars. So we could have got up to 25 if we had been able to get that one, but instead it'll just be 24. That's plenty fine. We will go into that other little opening and see what's up with that one. I honestly don't remember what's in there. Uh, but there we go. One of the castle secret stars. All right, let's save and continue. And let's check out what's going on in here. Whoop. Oh, there's just one up, cool. Where'd it go? <laughs> Come back, one up, oh, it's gone. Oh well, that's fine. So there we go, there was Jolly Rogers Bay. Uh, we'll be back at some point for that last star. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Super Mario 64 on the Super Mario 3D All-Stars Collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.